you want to secure your first data analyst internship you already started learning some of the skills and doing projects now want to figure out what exactly you need to do to get that first internship then you are in the right video let's get started and see how you can actually achieve this i am going to give you a step by step road map what you can do and also some unconventional advice at the end that can definitely help you the first thing that you obviously need to do is learn the skills up to an intermediate level let us say you choose excel sql and maybe tableau learn it up to intermediate level you can do this for free right there's a lot of free channels on youtube free courses if you want to learn from my channel go and check out my free data analyst bootcamp playlist i have plenty of videos on excel sql and also data visualization tools once you have learned the skills to an intermediate level you can get away with this in an internship for sure next step is to go and differentiate yourself by doing projects now what kind of projects should you do one school of thought is you should do projects based on existing data sets so you can go to websites like kaggle and definitely do this but the problem here is a lot of people are going to do the same thing then how can you differentiate yourself my suggestion here is try to generate your own data or work with actual real data that is coming from your own experiences this could be just tracking your calories over the last 90 or 180 days this could be just downloading your own bank statement where you have spent a lot of money in the last few months if you are someone who is into stock market and tracking those prices try to build a small code that can scrape the data from a stock market website and build an analysis based on the price of specific stocks over the past few months this is how you can generate real data then simply go and use a tool like sql python or some power bi and build some simple project dashboard or analysis where you drive insights these insights need not be complex but they should be concrete and clearly explaining trends keep this in mind and try this out okay this way you'll be done with projects now that you are done with projects what is an obvious next step you need to build your own brand or at least some kind of personal brand or internet presence for this linkedin is obviously the best place go and start posting there okay i'm going to give you a fact that you'll be shocked about a lot of people do projects learn the skills let us say 100 people do this out of this only 5 or 10 people are actually sharing that on linkedin don't feel shy to share what you've learned you need not be a super expert to share your knowledge whatever projects you've done whatever skills you've learned go and share that on linkedin using some simple posts show that you know something in this field and build that kind of social presence this is super important as many people don't do this so try posting on linkedin regularly two three times a week for a few months i'm sure it will make a huge difference parallelly also if you can build a simple portfolio website using wix where you put all your projects in one place maybe even do some video recordings of your project this can make a great difference so you are building your portfolio on the one side and linkedin presence on the other right so these two can be super useful because 95% of the people don't do this once you are done with all this what else you need to do i know i am telling a lot of things but in this competitive market this is really important you need to find startup founders who are hiring for any kind of role related to data they are always willing to hire young talent even talent which don't have actual experiences try to connect with them try to showcase you know certain stuff on linkedin share your projects and reach out to some of these people i am sure a few will respond then you try to get on calls with them and try to sell your skills so what can you do to actually sell your skills here i have one unconventional advice that you can follow this has helped some of my own mentees get internships easily let us say you want to become a data analyst get an internship in a specific startup which is related to the fintech industry find someone who is already working as a data analyst in the fintech industry the best option will be to find someone who is living in your own city just message people like that and ask them if you could join them when they are working for 2 or 3 days basically you sit next to them and observe what they are doing what does a daily a day look like in the life of a data analyst once you make these observations from one or two people you clearly get an idea what is expected out of a data analyst job 
through your old projects you also have the skills you know what to do in an analysis try to sell both of these together when you talk with these founders i'm sure some of them will be impressed you will at least get a chance to do a unpaid internship of course ideal world paid internship is better but starting with one unpaid internship is not a bad idea now beyond this if you feel like you don't want to do an internship completely for free here is another strategy you can do to make some money not in a direct manner but more indirectly let us say you want to do an internship where you are at least given some benefits or compensated then ask the founder that you been wanting to do a couple of udemy courses for a long time you feel like if you learn that it can help in the actual job it can help the company try to pitch like that i'm sure they will not say no to fund your udemy course which could be 500 rupees or 1000 rupees or whatever another option for example if you are someone who regularly orders on swiggy you can just ask the founder if they could sponsor one lunch for you every week and you can refund that money from the company right there's no harm trying like this so indirectly you'll be compensated for the swiggy charges so this is also a good idea to keep yourself motivated another option is if you are someone who is learning about investing ask if they could help you uh, with maybe getting a free trading view account or one or two month subscription so you can learn better this can also be another option just try these out maybe some of them will click so they won't give you direct money but refund you whatever uh, you want to do right this is a good option so that you also feel somewhat compensated instead of doing something completely for free i hope this advice helped try to follow these steps for a few months i'm sure there is light at the end of the tunnel if you like this video share it with your friends i will see you again in another video till then bye